Hello guys, this is Jota from 3DMA. Welcome to a new tutorial. And on this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can post um, our uniforms to different uh, base meshes. Okay, so as you might know already, different games, different engines use different base meshes for the rigs and their animations. And our uniforms might not come in that same pose that you want for, let's say, um, GTA or Fallout or Arma 3. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use um, our reforger, Arma, Arma reforger base mess as an example. But um, uh, yeah, it's essentially the same for for all games, right? So um, we use um, a slightly modified base mesh uh, from uh, MetaHuman for our uh, uniforms. That's where we simulate. That's where we take our proportions from. Okay. So yeah, we just essentially grab the metahuman character, make it a little bit beefier and, and bigger, so it looked better. Um, so what we can do is uh, now we're gonna turn on the um, reforger character, right? And you can see the um, the proportions are slightly different. Uh, there's things coming out. The guy's a bit smaller. And things like that. So, how can we um, fit our uniform to that base mesh in the best way possible, right? So, the first thing we're gonna do is very important. Uh, we're just gonna turn on our textures. This way, when we move things around, we're gonna be able to see if we are distorting things uh, too much or if things are looking correctly, okay? So, um, we're gonna use essentially three tools. Um, the first one is going to be just moving vertex with um, uh, this thing activated, the proportional editing. Okay. Um, something very useful is if you do control and right click, you can do this lasso selection. Uh, that's very useful for for this case. Um, so you can see now you can, uh, with the proportional editing activated, you can move the mouse wheel and uh, make it uh, bigger or smaller the the ring right uh, my my sorry my mouse wheel is very uh, broken I have to change it uh, so this is not working uh, correctly for me but uh, we're gonna move into uh, another tool so you guys see the options um, if we go into a sculpt mode uh, there's essentially two tools here we can use one would be your grab tool. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. You just grab things and move them around. Uh, the bigger you make the brush, uh, if you press F, right, you can just make it bigger or smaller. Um, and then that would move things around. And then there's this other one that is uh, precisely called pose. Um, that is pretty useful for the forearms and, and just the arms in general, also for the legs. Um, so you can see when you make the um, the brush smaller or bigger, you get this white uh, line, and that's going to indicate uh, where it's affecting, right? So for example, in this case, you want to take from the wrist to the elbow, and just do like that, and that will move it very, very, very conveniently for our use case. Okay, so essentially those are the three tools you want to use and just combine them um, and just try to fit it into the into the new mess, right? Um, you can also do uh, the wireframe, the transparent wireframe. So you can see if things are too big or they are clipping and things like that. And it's just a matter of um, playing around with it In and this should give you a very decent result as well as uh, it's quite quick so yeah um, yeah again this guy is a bit smaller so you want to make the the back smaller same thing for here on the neck and things like that you can also use uh, symmetry over here on the top uh, but we don't make necessarily our models um, 100% uh, symmetrical for obvious reasons, right? You don't want one leg look at exact, the exact way as the other. So um, they are not 100% symmetrical. Um, but you can still uh, try using um, the symmetry tool, right? And that will uh, 
save you a little bit of time again using the post tool here and you can see I'm getting very good results very quickly and I can just swap into the um, into the brush and uh, into the grab tool and just move things around again as I said things are not symmetrical so you're just gonna do a you're just always gonna have to do a little bit of manual tweaking in each leg so it fits uh, perfectly right um, but yeah that's that's pretty much it guys and that's how you you go you would go about um, fitting our uniforms uh, or anything really into into different characters uh, so yeah I hope that was useful um, give us a like please comment uh, subscribe and all that and I'll see you around in the next one bye bye